Well, it looks like the originator of the hashtag KickVic movement known as Kalen has recently been exposed by the username SGSammy over on Twitter in having to state, ladies and gentlemen, we got her. The girl who started the hashtag KickVic lied. She claims to have been in three bad situations with Vic and Vic did not assault her and then says that Vic Mignogna has done nothing to me personally, but hang on to what? Hashtag KickVic is built on a lie. Hashtag I stand with Vic. Now Sammy is trying to shed light on the idea that back on January 17th, 2019, Kaylin had went on ahead to make accusations in accusing Vic Mignogna of sexual harassment as she went on to state, and I quote, it's hard to say this, especially on a night that a DBZ film dropped and knowing that I have friends slash acquaintances at Funimation, but at Funimation, I think it may be time to reconsider hiring Vic Mignogna as the voice actor in the future due to years and great volumes of sexual misconduct. Does this need like a hashtag or something? Something like, I don't know, hashtag kick Vic? Or does that invoke too much of an image of physically kicking him rather than giving him the boots? I don't know what the fuck I'm doing, I don't create hashtags. So basically this all started on the allegation built that Vic Mignogna had sexually harassed her, but then later on we see Facebook posts as an individual by the name of Mitchell goes on to stay so just wondering, I've noticed that you've been active in the whole anti-Vic thing, I was wondering if you've ever met him at any cons or had any interactions with the man. Not judging you on your answer, just wondering. As Mars Girl also known as Caitlyn goes on to reply by stating yes, three times. As Mitchell states, and did any of those three result in an unpleasant interaction? As she goes on to state, yes. As Mitchell responds, I'm sorry to hear that, could you please tell me what happened? Which later on goes on to fully contradict herself, as Lightning Walker goes on to state, there's dots connected here. Why would the girl who started hashtag kick Vic at Mars Girl, a day before starting kick Vic, praise the Dragon Ball Super Broly movie? A movie with her alleged assaulter. Doesn't make any sense at all, as Caitlyn herself goes on to state, he didn't assault me. So right then and there, she contradicts her own narrative by previously stating that she had been directly involved in sexual misconduct, but then later backtracks in having to state no, he didn't assault me. Which as we go back on Twitter, another user goes on to state, while I appreciate you admitting that you were wrong, that still doesn't change the fact that if he truly did do this to you, why on earth would you want to support him by watching the movie? Art from the artist, whatever, you're still giving him a paycheck. As Kaylin goes on to state, he didn't do anything to me personally. As the user replies, yet yeah, you're the one who started the hashtag kick Vic movement. As Kaylin responds, yep, because I've seen him to be sketchy. Again, she's seen him to be sketchy. She never once was involved in anything directly, but more or less is going based off of the narrative that she believes that he is quote, sketchy, and that in and of itself is enough validity for her to make up a judgment in immediately calling for his removal at Funimation and conventions just because she feels sketchy about him. Take that into perspective, guys. If someone were to look at somebody else and saying, huh, I think that person is sketchy and then proceeds to ruin their livelihood, does that make it justifiable? Absolutely not. So this woman went on to start the hashtag kick Vic movement, all based on her own subjective bias in the fact that she believes that Vic seemed sketchy and later proceeding to ruin his entire career, which does not justify both parties having to target each other, harass each other, threaten each other. I've said this since day one, neither party should go after each other's necks and threatening to swat each other and threatening to harm each other, but more or less challenging someone's intellectual stance in where they stand in this situation. Now a lot of evidence is pointing at Vic being innocent, and if you guys agree to that, make sure you guys slap a like down below and hit that subscribe button because I'm going to keep you guys updated and in the loop with all the latest news information and updates surrounding the Vic Mignogna situation, which is really going deeper than we originally thought right now, but especially with Vic having to lawyer up, I do think that that's a good stance because if Vic Mignogna does proceed to take this to court, everything should be essentially settled in court. Of course, you're going to have the fandom 
at a backlash, people are going to fight, bicker, and argue, but I think the be-all, end-all needs to be settled in court because only there could you prove if whether or not Vic is innocent or guilty, and all evidence right now that's not tampered with points at Vic having to be innocent only because a lot of the evidence that's coming out against him is being tampered with and lied about. Like I said before, the swatting lied about. Now the woman that came out starting the entire hashtag kick Vic situation came out and saying, well, no, it didn't happen to me directly. I just had a bad feeling about him. And since I'm going based off of my own feelings, thus that makes him a bad guy. That's not a good stance to have. Just because you assume something in someone does not make it justifiable in destroying someone's livelihood. No matter who you are, you can't go based off of your emotions and allow that to be the justifiable evidence you need to hurt someone or to destroy someone's life. And in this case, a lot of that has been used against him and again I do believe that Vic is not guilty but he's not innocent completely I do believe that a lot of people are holding skeletons in their closet all of us have skeletons in our closet but in this particular situation it's becoming tougher and tougher to believe the people against Vic only because the evidence is being tampered with pictures are being photoshopped phone calls are being lied and made up so things aren't making sense and all in all right now in the Dragon Ball community the entire fandom is split down and people not knowing knowing who to choose or who to believe because evidence is being tampered with and there are lots of misleading things going around in the community now that seemingly enough aren't making any sense. But by the end of all of this, I want to have an intellectual conversation in the comment section below. What do you guys think about the tampering of evidence? What are your thoughts on this potentially going to court? And who do you guys favor in this situation? Are you guys for hashtag I stand with Vic? If you guys are, hit that subscribe button. Or if you guys are for hashtag kick Vic, I would like to know in the comments comments as to why you guys believe that because right now a lot of the evidence is supporting Vic's narrative but I just really hope that this community can come together because thus far there have been lots of problems the Dragon Ball Super Broly movie just came out and it's just the cluster going on right now in the community so I want to get your thoughts and opinions guys let me know your thoughts thank you all so much for watching tune back in for the next video and I hope to hear from you guys down below take it easy guys peace